this uh, webinar, we are going to focus on uh, what data science is, how it is being used to, in today's world, uh, what are the opportunities, uh, job opportunities you have in this uh, field. And we also would take an example of uh, clustering and uh, use that to show how data science helps in predicting uh, a lot of things that we do in the world today. Um, let's start with uh, what data science is and let's start with some applications that are today used popularly in data science. Uh, the first application you see is a wine recommendation system. Uh, this is an application where you would be going in and rating uh, different kinds of wines and based on the ratings you have provided for other types of wines, it is going to come back and recommend you wines that you might like. And so uh, what it is trying to do uh, here is that it is collecting data about you, what kind of wines you like, what ratings you give for the different uh, wine brands that are there. It also collects the same kind of data for other users of the same system. So what it does is use, uses this information to try matches or uh, it tries to match you with similar kind of people with similar kind of taste and then try to see what the other people like and then recommend those brands for you. This is a part of a supervised machine learning. A second example that you see is that of Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, as you know, it has a number of locations in a given city and then they do do a lot of door delivery. Uh, as you know that they have offers like they would deliver you within they will do offer something like within 30 minutes or uh, they will be able to deliver within 30 minutes or 60 minutes. So when you look at Pizza Hut, they have a number of locations in a given city and then they have to deliver the pizza uh, to the various people who are uh, ordering by phone and they want to minimize the amount of travel that the pizza delivery guys have to do. So what they try to do is they try to locate their Pizza Hut locations in such a way that the travel time is minimized. So whenever they want to uh, start a new branch or location in the city, they use machine learning to find out the most optimal location that would minimize the amount of uh, travel that their Pizza Hut guys have to do. The third application you would see is uh, used by Netflix. Netflix is, has been one of the most leading and pioneering users of uh, data science. In Netflix, what happens is people log in to Netflix, they view a lot of movies, they view and they rate a lot of movies. And Netflix tries to find what the preference of their uh, movie viewers are uh, based on what kinds of genre they watch, like is it comedy or tragedy or, or uh, action movies. And it looks at what actors uh, the users prefer, actresses, directors, uh, length of the movie. And then based on that, it tries to find a profile of you, which says that this particular person likes movies like this. And when the next movie of the same kind of profile comes out, it comes and offers you saying that, okay, here is a movie that you might like. It's the same kind of algorithm that you will see being used by Amazon also, because what Amazon does is whenever you log into Amazon, based on your purchase history, as well as uh, your viewing history, it tries to make recommendations on what kind of things you might like. A fourth application is what Google does in when you're doing any kind of Google search. So whether you're doing, when you do a Google search, you try to, you see that based on the Google ad search text you enter, it tries to give a list of links to either news or images or videos. What it does is it tries to group together similar news items and similar images and similar videos by using clustering algorithms, uh, wherein it find, looks at the words that are being used in the newscast to see which news articles are related to one another and which are not. So that's why when you enter a search condition, it comes back and tells you uh, which uh, are the similar ones that are being used. Here. So there is, a, of course, a data science is getting used in even sports also. If some of you have seen a movie called uh, Moneyball, Moneyball uses data science in order to win baseball matches. So it is also being used in sports heavily too and this is a comic of, you know, that people are using data, data, big data insights. So try doing something totally different to kind of put them off balance. So what is common in all these applications? 
So in all these applications, the first thing you see is there is a large amount of data and large amount of unstructured data that needs to be stored, that needs to be organized and integrated and processed. And once you uh, have this data in a, in a good format, then you have to sit and analyze this data, again, a large volume of data to gain insights and knowledge from it. And based on this insights and knowledge, you try to predict the future based on this data. So when you look at machine learning, the main, reason, the main application of machine learning is what we call predictive analytics, which is to use the past data to predict the future. If you look at Wikipedia, Wikipedia has a definition of data science. Of course, there's a lot of definitions floating around on what data science is. In general, it is the ability for you to extract meaning out of data and use that in your in a real world situation. So what are the kind of uh, 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 tools that we use in uh, machine learning? Storage of big data, of course, is done using Hadoop. And uh, you also use tools such as uh, R and Mahout as a part of uh, processing, analyzing, and extracting the data. So uh, this particular uh, webinar is a precursor to the data science course offered by uh, Edureka. And in this course, you will be learning about these machine learning techniques and how you use R and Mahu to use machine learning in order to extract meaning from data. So there is a, a large demand and supply gap with respect to the demand for data scientists. And this is a, a survey that is done by Gartner, which says that uh, there are 4.4 million IT jobs globally to support big data by 2015. And only one third of the requirements are today being met by the people available. So obviously in the, in the world, you will see a lot of programs coming up in order to develop uh, data science skills. And data science skills are not something that you, you would learn in your bachelor's degree uh, because they are a little more complex than what you would learn in at that particular level. You need to have some amount of uh, business knowledge and there has to be a, a lot of logical application that is required in order to use a data science. So of course the challenge, the challenge there is to find a people who uh, know this and know how to use this machine learning algorithms. There are a lot of uh, jobs within the data science field itself like the data scientists who runs the machine learning algorithm, the visualizer who produces uh, graphics out of the data, the research analyst who looks at the resource of the machine learning to come up with some insights, the engineer, engineer who's, uh, looks, who basically is involved in taking raw data and converting them into process data. There are architects who sit and architect this, uh, this architect the solution and the big data analyst is like the research analyst, again, looking at data for insights. Moving on to the next slide, this is a, a job trend list that has come from uh, indeed.com. Uh, and uh, what you see here is that uh, there is an exponential growth in, in the job offers that are in the world today. When I say uh, exponential, you will see that there's a huge up uh, in demand. And why is there all of a sudden a huge up in this demand? Machine learning techniques have been there uh, in this world for 50, 60 years. But uh, so far, they have been only used in pretty advanced fields like uh, 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 like uh, national security was one play, one field it is used, uh, stock markets, places where, uh, and that is because machine learning techniques, uh, to implement them, it needs a lot of uh, CPU power, a lot of memory, a lot of disk space, and those kind of technologies were not available for common use until now. So the advent of Hadoop, where you are able to uh, store and process large amount of uh, unstructured data is kind of a kickstart for this particular uh, usage. And then of course you have machine power today available, uh, memory available, and there are new types of databases, no SQL databases that are coming out that can use unstructured data and be able to give you uh, meaningful information. So what has happened as a part of the, because of this is, regular businesses, enterprises who sell products to customers, now all of a sudden want to use machine data in order to understand their potential customers and past customers and current customers and be able to offer more services and be able to sell more goods. And they already have a lot of data that they have captured in the databases and in their backups and stuff like that. All of a sudden they want to mine that data, 
get more information and want to see how they can use the information they have to be able to uh, uh, generate more amount of insights.